Okay, for next is Kekai Sesen Beyond. Honestly, I think this this sequel should have been made like one year ago. I think it's a little late and I was I just kind of forgot about it when it, it suddenly came uh, this season. But in overall, I really enjoyed it. I think it's something that you watch weekly instead of trying to watch it uh, in a marathon because there is an, there's no single plot line and there's no central central plot and instead it goes by one episode by one episode challenging monster of the week plot of the week something like that until the end there is a there's there is a plot about uh, Leonardo's uh, sister but it, it has no central theme like uh, the one in season one involving the characters black and white it kind of lose it loses a bit of charm in that aspect but the episodes themselves are pretty solid there, there's a few episodes i really like especially episode two and that and uh, and kk's episode it is it's a solid uh writing for uh, for individual episode but it's a it's it's a less I think it's less flashy compared to compared to season one, but I think it's a solid anime. If if you enjoyed the first season, you definitely should watch the second season. But as I said, it's not I don't think you should marathon it. Watch it bit by bit, and then after Kekai Sensei is Kino no Tabi. Uh, honestly, I'm. I'm a little uh, torn apart about this. Uh, on one hand, I really enjoyed, I can quite enjoyed uh, each episode, but unlike uh, unlike the the classic Kino no Tabi in like 2003 or something, 2004 or something, I think. Uh, in in this in this uh, uh the rendition of Kino no Tabi 2017. Uh, that uh, it has multiple episodes dedicating to other characters. I think if I if I remember correctly uh, correctly that I read somewhere that this this is uh more faithful to the to the original material that it has uh, various other characters. I I mean I don't mind that uh, each each of these characters are pretty compelling, and they have their own unique. They they are their own unique take on the whole traveling thing. I I really enjoyed the episode about the the slave girl, the sl the slave girl and how she end up, how how she end up of and end up surviving, and uh, taking and living as a normal girl, and for the for the story about uh the the prince the prince uh that used to, he used to be a prince and then he traveled. His part of the story is quite unique as well. It, it it fits with the style of Kino no Tabi, mysterious mysterious journey and discovery style of anime, if off story. But at the same time, I I kinda miss the more edgy and gritty style of the classic Kino no Tabi. Kino no Tabi Kino no Tabi, the classic one is kinda more pretentious. I think it's a little depre It's more depressing. The color is more washed out. I remember there's a few episodes that I remember from a so, long time ago. It has more. It's, it has more killing. More. Oh yeah, there's another character. The character about there's another character. Uh, character story in this in the 2017. The her her the Kino Sensei and her partner. It, the, that episode was also quite fun. Quite fun. Where was I? Yes. Uh, I think the classic one has. A more profound has a more deep has a deeper philosophical things you can observe and and thought over. It's not necessarily better or, or it's not necessarily worse, but I kinda wish that uh, 2017 Kinotabi to be this more pretentious. I know that I kinda hate things to be too pretentious, but I think Kino no Tabi fits this. Uh, fits to. Uh, I think. I think Kino no Tabi fits to be pre pretentious. Fits to be gritty and edgy, and depressing and slow, slow move, slow moving story, instead of this 2017 more 2017 more adventurous and colorful style. It's not bad. 
it, it still retains some grittiness in in how they are willing to uh, easily willing to portray murder and killing very and people dying very uh, calmly they don't make m much fuss about people dying even though it, it has a very it's a very colorful anime and some some I really like some episode some episode has a very has a unique uh, show unique showing like at epi I think episode second to last of second to last has this story being very uh, the, the color is very pale and dark and blurry but after the after Kino escape it suddenly become very colorful in, in, in top of art direction I, I enjoy uh, I enjoyed it but I think I might prefer the classic one but in, in, in the end I might be a little biased because I watched the classic one long time ago I think if I want to be fair I, I should rewatch rewatch the old one but I might be it, it might be my nostalgia nostalgia Google playing with me it, it, it might not be as good as I think it, be, it, it, it is but but uh, to conclude I enjoyed I enjoyed both but it's not really a must watch you are not missing anything big if you don't if you skip Kino no Tabi and it's not it doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have some it's very profound things like the classic one and so after the letter K is H I J K L, Love Life. I'm gonna skip this because <laughs> I think hmm I might make a, a, a separate video about this. So next is Mahatsu Kai no Yome. It, it it's not ending yet. I think I think there's another I think there's another episode as as of this recording, or I think it might be going on longer, or there is a sequel movie or something. But what I like about Mahatsu Mahatsu Ma Ma Kai no Yome is that Here's the thing, if you are making a magic series, you have to what, have the idea of this thing. One, whimsy. Two, wonder. You have to you have to choose between the, between these two. And many magical series like uh, Little Witch Academia, the movie at least, the first movie at least has this whimsical 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 quality. I might I might make uh, uh I I'm gonna put this in in my idea idea in my idea note I might make uh discussing a bit about magical genre but Mahatsu Kai no Yome chooses to be wonder basically in wonder type of magic you focuses on the majesticness and the wonder of the of the magical system you are writing the magical practice and effect you you can you can you need to be creative if you want if you choose wonder in and Mahatsu Kai no Yume is a is a good example how to write this it has a uh, it, ha it has focus on nature and the rela relationship between the magic and nature with how it integrates the magic system with the how it writes the magical system that involves human, magic, fairies, fairies and uh, various natural other uh, supernatural beings. I really like the aspect of uh, Mahatsuka Naomi. I know I know it has some roots in uh, in some kind of old witchcraft, something like paganism, something like uh, Wiccan magic, something like that. It has a very close, very close relationship with nature and how Mahatsuka no Yome present this magic makes you awe. That's what makes you awe in uh, in how the how the things how the magic make things. You know what I'm saying? It makes uh, it, it makes you wonder because hmm. I'm gonna I'm I think I'm gonna about this true before I'm going to make that magic magic video basically what I'm saying that the magic in this anime feels unique and feels unique and makes you makes me feel more interested in the world in the characters and how the magic works 
and the characters themselves are pretty unique and interesting the relationship between between the main characters and the, between the main characters and the magician is pretty unique especially with how how they met each other basically uh alias alias the the magician the mahatsukai in this in, in the title bought her because she has uh, innate magical power <laughs> that's typical because main characters has to have has to have uh, innate magical power and then their relationship evolved to become deeper and alias stopped viewing her as just something just an experiment or as an object and he is also confused about how she got how she is she's gotten more and more involved with his life so uh, it's 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 kind of a compelling relationship that i want to see how what happens in more in the future and it has a great art i really like it has it has, uni it has un unique art style you know art style unique design Ah, uh, not unique design. I mean, like, not exactly unique, but it has a fun, fun design, uh, immersive design. If it, it feels cohesive, and the 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 especially the, the background style is also very detailed. The color is, the color is very lush and vibrant. And combining this all, all this all aspect with the magic with a very entertaining magical magical effects it makes a very uh inter entertaining things to watch so it makes uh, things that uh you can very empathize you can immerse immerse yourself so uh, next in the list is net net you know I, I i i already talked about that next is uh shoujo shumatsu ryoko uh how should i say this it, it is a it is a very a slice of life but I talk about this in my first impression. What I okay. Uh, I personally, I I personally re enjoyed it, but the way I enjoy this anime is that because it this anime is usually on Saturday, and Saturday even though I don't usually don't work on Saturday, I usually do many other things, many chores, many uh, things as just many other things even some of work that I brought home and then uh, at night I put this anime on and I just kinda watch this half sleepily it is a relaxing anime it is a very introspective anime you watch it and you think about stuff you take, you take things very slowly and and it works in that in that regard. You, uh, I don't think you should watch this uh, as you should watch this, you should watch watch this like you watch other soul comedy and uh, other slice of life or other anime because it is a very slow anime. And even though there's a few things, few times it it, it it's kind of funny, but it is a very slow and silent anime. But I really enjoyed it. I think it served that purpose. It's, I think it's a solid anime. It's a unique anime with a unique, unique uh, setting. And even though the ending is kind of kind of grim, with all of its all of its implication, uh, I really enjoyed it. And I think the opening and the ending is really good. I it was one of my personal. I think it's one of my favorite this season. The opening and the ending ending. However, my criticism is about this is also I have I have also criticism some criticism about this. Namely, is that I think the city they are in is a little too grey. I know I know that it's not really too grey and a little dull. I know that this is uh the setting they are in is not really in our world. It is it is an alter alternate world where. I think it, it involves some. It, it involves the 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 uh, civilization involved with ancient technology and stuff, something like that. More robotic technologies and stuff. But personally, I think the uh, the the setting they are in is a little too concrete and grey. You know what I'm saying? When 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 I when I think of 
when I if I want to write uh, an apocalyptic slice of life, personally I would put in more nature and more sceneries that are that more sceneries that implicates that humans are no longer there. I will put in, yeah basically we put in more nature. I think more nature is a, is a good it's a good formula for this kind of setting. I think where uh, uh but but they have but this anime has their own vision of the apocalypse so uh, it, it is just my uh, subjective opinion. I mean like slice of life uh apocalyptic not apocalyptic but there is there is a slice of life called Sora no Oto. It is, it is basically, it's not apocalyptic, but it, it is it is slice of life set in a, in a world with world war or something. It, it has a very, it has a very, how should I say this? Uh, even, even though the world is at war, but the, uh, the setting of the slice of life anime located in a very beautiful town. It is inspired by Spanish village, I think. Like just because it's the end of the world, you don't you don't have to make everything too de depressing, something like that. And in term, in, in for shoujo Shumatsu Ryoko, Girl Last Tour, I think the just the the design decision, I I think it could have been better and more. It can, it, could, it could have been something like the the setting, the cities could be more beautiful, but this uh. But uh, it's it's clear that the writer has his or her own vision of what the the place is, and and by suggesting this, I think I might be a little too assertive in my uh, as in I want to change the fundamental things in the story that it's not really uh it's just my outside opinion. So anyway, next is two cars. I I really enjoyed it. I think two cars is one of my uh, surprisingly, surprisingly good and enjoyable uh, series of the season. There, there, there's a few, a few weak episodes, but in overall, I really enjoyed the characters, the relationship, and the racing is intense. I really love the 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 last two episodes. It's really intense. I really enjoyed it. I think a few animes really get me excited these days. Because I, I, when you have watched uh, over, when you have watched anime seriously for more than a decade, you kind of have watched a lot of um, everything. But the 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 last few episodes of Tukas it really got me pumped, especially the final episode. The final episode, the final scene is very exciting to me. Uh, I really like that feeling. Not many anime can make me feel that. And not just the I, I'm I think I'm making this feels like only the last few last few episodes uh, are good but overall these uh, two casts of all all episodes are pretty solid even though I, I wish that other other groups get their own episode arc because there's only four four only four pairs of characters that got their own story and I wish there, there's like three other three other groups that don't get their own story and that's kind of uh, kind of a shame because if if they can if they get each get one or two episodes I think I, I will enjoy it. But nevertheless, two cast is ranks pretty high. I I really enjoy it. And what I also like about two cast is that the the main characters are also pretty unique. I'm not gonna spoil much, but basically, uh, when usually in a standard in a standard uh romance story, you will have these uh main female characters who is very who is not really assertive? Who is uh who is willing to let the main characters the the love of her the love of her life just to to play around and for girls to flirt around with him and for him to just act however he pleases. But the 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 two main female characters of two cast is really adamant. It's really stubborn and really assertive in their pursue of their love and it's very unique in fact because of their stubbornness i think it's why the final few episodes happen that way so it's it's a really unique i think it's it's really unique really unique story with 
overall the art is pretty solid it has a it has a unique setting with the whole racing thing and the racing itself is pretty exciting the characters uh, and the characters uh, story is uh, pretty uh, compelling especially the the story about the twins i really like how the the i really like the episode about the twins especially the bit about on their on their first episode there is a bit on when they are flash doing some kind some kind of flashback and then twin one said something and then the twin the second twin repeat the same thing in uh repeat the same thing with a little different in the wording and they repeat it for, for a few minutes it, it makes a very interesting viewings i really enjoy it i think i think it's a it's a surprise uh surprise uh good anime this season and next is yuki yuna hmm yuki yuna it, it, it has less action uh, uh yuki, yuki yuna it feels more like an an aftermath of the first season it has less action it has uh less uh the story focuses more on their re re relationship between the characters more than uh, having a story uh, having a having a something having a center plot progressing naturally the the if it, it feels more like a it feels more like an more like an epilogue epilogue to the first season more than a continuation it focuses on more on what happens to togo and then after they rescued togo and then how their what how their relationship is impacted i mean it's good i really like it i think i think it's very sad i mean when yuna became slowly de slowly deteriorate and then everyone is going to become sad the, the how the how the anime handled it is, is uh, quite well it's, it has a very pro progressive incremental feeling of sadness and despair that i really enjoy compared to some other anime attempt at despair which, which usually makes uh, involve making some huge thing happen and then everybody is so sad and crying and shouting but the the slow agonizing progression of y yuki's uh despair is very heartbreaking and very sad it impacted impacted me and it, it is well written the but uh, that's but that's the, that's is also the problem uh, in the five episode feels more like a, an epilogue it doesn't feel like a second season and then i ha i haven't watched i think tomorrow's gonna have the next episode which is gonna be the final episode i have i have, I have yet to watch it as as the time of this recording but what should i say i, I enjoyed it I enjoyed it, uh, but but yeah, it's not really it's it's not really a Yuki Yuna season one with actions with uh, comedies like in season one. You should expect it like a like an like an after after story. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna make a separate video about Hoseki no Kuni and Love Life. What else? Uh, I drop a bunch of others like Anime Gatari is retarded. Urahara, I think I'm pretty sure it, it's not getting any better. And then the the, the one what Imoto Imoto Sai Iraibai is a stupid story. It's a, it's an inferior Ero manga. I know, surprise right that you apparently you can become worse than Ero manga sensei. Man, poor poor Kantoku. Kantoku really gets a good story. I think hentai OG is watchable. I enjoyed hentai OG, but it's not really it's not really a good anime. And I think he at Kantoko also has an anime next season. I might I might uh, recheck it. Uh, anyways, uh, I think for January, I think I'm gonna try to make more more video. I have or I have already bunch of things in my uh, my idea idea note, and I'm gonna try to commit to it this time because i think i'm already gotten used to my new job 
Anyways, if you are still listening, I don't know why you are still listening. I don't think I'm a good, a good talker or anything. This is just me ranting for 15 minutes, 40 minutes plus. Man, I don't, I don't think I have talked this much in quite a while. Anyways, good night.